Okay, we have another division problem, and we have one where we have multiple things on top and multiple things in the bottom. The first thing we want to do is use rule number seven to separate the division, turn it into subtraction. So we're going to do log five, two x to the fourth times x minus four, and then we're going to do minus, and I have log five, five times x minus three, to the fifth power. So that's the first step is just using rule number seven to break it apart and now I have a division turns into subtraction. So next, uh, I'm, I can do some more work with this. This is a multiplication here, so I'm gonna go ahead and separate that and turn that into uh, division. So log fourth plus log to the fifth x minus four. This is using rule, rule number six. We have multiplication turns into addition. I'm gonna leave this one as it is for right now. Now one thing I want to point out here, and this is a mistake that I often see, when we get to the, the part about expressing the powers as factors, so a lot of people what they'll do is they'll take log 5, 2x to the fourth power, they'll bring the 4 down, and they'll have that as the answer. So log, two, log base 5 of 2x. This is actually incorrect. The reason why is because the 4 only applies to the x. It doesn't apply to the whole thing. In order for this to be correct, I would have to have parentheses around the entire 2x because then the 4 would be applying to that whole entire base. Well, we don't have that in this case. We don't have parentheses around that, so the fourth power only applies to the x only. So bringing the 4 down and jumping over that 2, that's incorrect. What you want to do is you actually want to treat this like two separate terms. This is really 2 times x to the 4th power. So when you separate it, it's going to be log 5, 2 plus log 5, x to the 4th. You're going to have that. That's the correct way to separate that. You're treating the number as a separate term, and now we can separate that into a plus. The next one is OK, log 5, x minus 4. Now, this part here, we have another case again where we don't want to bring the 5 all the way down in front of the minus sign because that would be skipping the 5. So just like the last example here, we have to apply the same technique. You want to treat this as two separate things. Now we've got to be careful because we've got a minus sign in front. So the minus sign, we're going to have to, when we separate it into a multiplication, uh, these two things, all that's going to go inside the parentheses. So it's going to have log 5 of 5 plus log 5 x minus 3 to the fifth power. We have to keep it all inside the parentheses because originally both of these things are on the bottom. If you don't put the parentheses there, that means that the negative would only apply to the first one but not for the second one, and that would be incorrect. You want to make sure that both of these are inside the parentheses. If you see something where, where these numbers are the same, you can actually simplify that further, which means that inside here I can make that a 1. Log 5 of 5 is a 1 plus log 5 x minus 3 uh, to the fifth power. Now of course what I would do here is I can bring down the 5 and then do log 5 of x minus 3 because that's what I'll do on my next step. So I, I put a 1 in here, log 5 of 5 was a 1. I brought this power down that's still inside these parentheses. If you wanted to distribute the minus sign through, you could do that or you could also leave it with the minus sign in front, it doesn't matter. For the other ones, I have a log base 5 of 2. Now since these numbers do not match, I can't turn that into a 1, so I can't do any more with that. I'm just going to leave that as part of my answer. The 4, that comes down front here, so I have a 4 log 5 of x, and then I have log 5 of x minus 4. So now that is broken down as far as I can go. This power got brought down. This one didn't have a power. This would be your full expanded answer. This is probably the most complicated example of this type that you're going to see. Again, you can either leave it like this or you can distribute the minus sign all the way through. Either one of those would be correct.